Hi, we're back at AES 2012 in San Francisco. This is Lee Whitmore, and I'm super pleased to have my friend Ed Gray here. Ed is Director for Partner Programs with Avid, and Ed, you've had that role for a while, dating back to DigiDesign days, I think. Tell us a little bit about your work. Yep, so I've been here for a while, like you say. Um, in November, it'll be my 17-year anniversary. And I joined um, as the manager of the developer group for DigiDesign, and, and more or less, I've been working with third parties in one way or another um, for, for the whole duration. Uh, I enjoy it a lot. It's, 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 it's a, you can't step in the same river twice, it's always different partners, different challenges, and I am uh, somewhat proud to say that I've been through four major transitions. And we're going through a fairly substantial but exciting transition. Here at AES, I've been walking around talking with our partners. There are lots of AAX releases going on. Tell us a little bit about that work that you're doing. Yeah. So it's, um, you know, the AAX transition, once in a while we, we look at our SDK and our materials for developers and our own plugin platform and, and uh, we make decisions to re-architect and, and uh, in a sense clean them up and modernize them. And in this case we, we redid the whole AAX platform as a way to, to clean up the code and also to facilitate the movement of plugins from Pro Tools to other products that we'll introduce downstream. So the um, the, the, the uh, belief is that with some work up front to get uh, your plugins re-architected to AAX, it will make it easier to get to other uh, products as we bring them online. And so how, how is Avid supporting the developer community in this transition? What are the uh, things that you're doing to help make mm -hmm. things easier for them? Yeah, uh, above all, it's, it's, it's my primary job to make sure we understand developers needs, they're all pretty idiosyncratic. So some people might have um, concerns about the market size or the growth. Some people may have technical issues getting to the new hardware platform or, or doing a big engine rewrite of their code. And so we try to, to connect directly with developers through things like developer conferences and conference calls and through a support forum and through developer kitchens to diagnose their, their uh, needs and then unblock their path to AX. So what's adoption been like for AAX? What's happening? So it's looking really good. You know, uh, there, there are a lot of plugins on AAX DSP, that's the hardware platform, and then a great many on AAX native. So I think that, um, you know, most, most third parties have quickly made the move to AAX native in the, in the interest of compatibility, but we really want them to, to look at, uh, and we really want to help them get to AAX DSP, because plugins running in a big AAX D DSP session really are at the center of what we're trying to do with Pro Tools HDX, which is to, to market this, this low latency, deterministic system running huge track counts with many, many plugins, almost, it seems like, limitless plugins. One thing I, I can't emphasize strongly enough is that there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes as third parties work very hard to get their plugins on AAX and AAX DSP in time for our new release. Tell us, who are some of the early supporters? Who comes to top of mind for you? Yep. So, um, our favorite Swedish developers are SoftTube. So they were there amazingly with 19 plugins on AAX and AAX DSP on Mac and Windows at, at AES a year ago. It was an amazing feat and it, it, it really validated the fact that we had an SDK that you could use to, to make uh, marketable working plugins. The SDK now, by the way, looks nothing like the SDK of a year ago. It's all improved and all those improvements are driven by third party input. Um, Plugin Alliance has a, a bunch of great plugins from many brands online. McDSP is there with an amazing range of plugins. And Sonox has, has, um, has several plugins. And uh, Metric Halo has a, a beautiful collection of plugins. And we, by the way, we, we market AX as a, as a highly secure and a highly service oriented platform. And, uh, and one where, where people are immune from a lot of the piracy and, and, uh, and cracks and things that you see on other platforms. Uh, Ed, tell me, if whether you're a developer or uh, a Pro Tools user, if you want help, want to learn more about AAX, what mm -hmm. should you do? Yeah, well, we have on, on avid.com, there's information about how to join and apply to the plugin program. And um, the, the, other, the other place to make sure you visit is the AAX forum on the user conference on avid.com. That's right. Okay. If you want to keep up, th by the way, thank you very much, Ed. Yeah. Super information. Yeah. And as Ed said, if you want to keep up with the latest on your favorite plugins, go to avid.com forward slash AAX news and subscribe.